All right, so I just want to give you a little information here on our presentation. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, you have a short proposal due uh, soon here on um, Canvas. So um, the final presentation is actually due Monday, December 7th by um, midnight, and you'll submit it on Canvas. You'll use um, basically uh, Panopto, which is a tool inside of Canvas that will allow you to record your presentation. So this should be your sort of typical academic um, presentation. I'm going to go over that. So again, um, there's an assignment uh, on Canvas, which is a, a proposal, and you'll submit the PDF file, which is a one to three paragraph short pitch for a song and just a basic outline for your presentation, which is due before Halloween. Um, so basically what I want you to do is to choose a hip-hop song. It has to be a hip-hop song. So, um, you know, some things like um, some of Drake's music is, you know, R&B, rap and bullshit. It's discluded from hip-hop. So try to really fit it as a hip-hop song. Try to avoid pop songs unless they sort of, you know, fit the vibe. Um, but you'll make a short five to seven minute presentation. No shorter than five minutes and no longer than five, uh, seven minutes, Okay and present a song it talk about its aesthetics um, fit it within its context of production so historical and social context like we have with some of the music and artists that i've uh, presented to you okay um, and you can use any format of your choice uh, prezi google slides powerpoint uh, keynote whatever um, you'll want to practice this and then you're going to record into panopto um, you'll be able to see this um, Panopto, uh, it will appear uh, in the dashboard um, for the class, <clears throat> and it's pretty easy to use. Um, I've included instructions, um, as you can see down here from the University of or Oregon College of Ed, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube, so it's a, just a Google search for how to use Panopto. It's pretty easy. Just go to create and go for it. Um, you want to practice your presentation, number one, for delivery, professionalism, um, and time. Uh, if you make like 20 slides to talk about a song, um, good luck fitting that into seven minutes. So um, do not go over seven minutes, okay? Um, this is worth 25% of your grade. So I'm going to tell you one thing that I don't want you to do in this is do not play the song um, like in its entirety. Um, if you need to reference part of the song, uh, include that. Um, the music video, include parts of it. But, um, you know, um, just plan on not playing the song, maybe a few parts, short segments as references, because you have such a limited amount of time. Um, you know, if you need to play other songs, for instance, what, it, what was sampled or used or scratched in it, that's something you could also show. Um, Basically, you need to um, relate the song to one of the academic readings or theories from the class. I mean, this could be stuff that Trisha Rose has said, Jeff Chang, Kembu McLeod, Lauren Kajikawa, Oliver Wang, um, various scholarly articles that we've um, reviewed and looked at, scholarly book chapters. Um, you know, so find something in there. So um, just how does it relate to one of those um, articles? You could also talk about some of the theories, for instance, subcultural incorporation, um, you know, etc. Okay. Try to fit the song within the canon of hip hop music. So if you're talking about, you know, um, you know, female rappers, you know, maybe you want to, um, you know, talk about Queen Latifah's Ladies First or reference stuff that we've, we've talked about in class. Um, talk about the context of production. How was it made? You know, is it, instrumentalist, a sampler, a drum machine, combination of both. When was it made? A little bit about the artist. I mean, that's all relating. Context of production is, you know, how was it made and with, within which context? Um, look at some of the aesthetic choices. This could be lyrics, um, you know, samples. Uh, uh, you know, maybe you can find interviews of the artist talking about making the song. Um, you know, other choices that are made about mixing and production. And then what does the song say about society? How does it reflect society? Um, you know, um, if it's art, it will say something about society. If it's entertainment, it won't say much. Um, you know, uh, so yeah, like I say, like if you're looking at a trap song, you know, you need to look at the drug culture that's influenced trap, you know, um, 
you know, it's a byproduct of a drug culture. That's what a trap house is, um, you know, um, and maybe look at the drug culture from the city from which the artist and the music comes from. Uh, maybe reference the music video. So you don't have to include all these things, but you want to include some of these things, okay? You want to have a nice introduction, the meat and potatoes, you know, the, the heart of the work, um, and then a conclusion, like why does it matter? Why does your presentation matter? Um, you'll want to have some form of a thesis or a research question. So here's how you could do that. Um, a thesis would be, you know, um, I think this, and I'm going to show you this, you know, why. A research question is, do, do, does this happen, you know, um, so here's an example. Um, a thesis for NWA song, Bitch is a Bitch, um, you know, uh, does, uh, you know, the misogynist lyrics reflect the group's hypermasculine persona and real life violence against women, and then you show us how that happens, okay? Um, that's a thesis. So a thesis would be, you know, um, you're going to talk, the, the lyrics reflect their, you know, their perspective and their persona, and then show us. Or research question would be, does NWA's Bitch is a Bitch um, and the misogynist lyrics reflect the group's hypermasculine? And then you explore the answers. Um, you know, um, try to, you know, teach us. You're really here to teach us. So I love these presentations because I get to learn from y'all. And again, you know, these are just suggestions. You don't have to cover all this stuff because you have seven minutes. So I always uh, suggest that students in presentations, more is uh, not uh, uh, not great. Um, less is more, you know. So give us some heart and substance here, um, but do relate it to one of the, the something we've read in the class or ideas from the class. Um, so yeah, you'll have a, a short, so what do you need to hand in? A short PDF file, PDF only, no docx, none of that bullshit um, on Canvas. Do uh, the uh, 1029. You also need to um, submit a PDF file on Canvas of that's a reference or bibliography page. I want to see, you know, your citations there, and then you'll do a five to seven minute professional, high quality academic presentation recorded in Panopto. Okay. So I'll grade you based upon, you know, content, what you analyze and how you deconstruct it. Um, analysis, how you connect to different texts, the content, and the content to the theories concept and say something powerful, meaningful, important. How you incorporate the course materials, weave in class discussion, some of the crap that I've said, etc. And then I'm going to look at your overall presentation. Um, not only your slides, but your seamless execution of them uh, in video, okay? And you can see here, um, here's the nice luxurious rubric that I've made for you that I'll be using in Canvas. And there are five points that um, that are your proposal. That So, so you need to think about the proposal a little bit. Um, I give you an outline of a project. You don't have to have this thought out so 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 much but it may be really good for you to do something like this and maybe you know i'll give you feedback on your uh, proposals on canvas so um you know i can say hey you're on the right track or hey you're on the right track but have you thought about this or hey um this ain't gonna fucking work um you know uh but you know here's an example where um i've chosen this you know vince staples and i'm gonna look at uh, his critique of you know, uh, police brutality in Los Angeles. Okay, and I've titled it, I Refuse the Right to be Silent. So I'm going to look at how his song, Hands Up, falls within the lineage of hip-hop songs that address pre um, police brutality against African Americans. And I'm going to specifically focus on Los Angeles area artists because I, I don't want this to be so, so, so broad. Um, my thesis, a research question, is I want to link, like, the, the socioeconomics of Los Angeles and talk about the little bit about the history of police oppression and aggression um, in the area um, to see how that fits into his message and hands up. And I'm going to look at the overall aesthetics of songs, things from like the tonal elements of it, um, and how the beat was made by a, a legendary producer, um, No ID, to look at how like these things come together, the beat um, and the tone of the song, actually like this really sinister beat, um, you know. Uh, affects the emotional impact of the song's message. Um, 
for literature, um, what have other people done and said? Literally, you could copy and paste my whole thing here. I'm going to borrow a little bit from Trisha Rose's uh, Fear of a Black Planet. And also, if you want to look, if you look under Pages on Canvas, there's a valuable resources um, page there. And I have links to and or list out a ton of uh, possible sources for you to even start with. Um, and then I go through my whole... Um, analysis, you know, so I'm going to use some, um, so I'll tell you a little bit about my initial theorizing here and you can, we can read this whole thing over. And then my conclusion discussion here, my three, three or four main points, I'm kind of summing it up. And then I end with, this is why my project is important, how it relates to class. So again, this is five to seven minutes. It's going to, you're going to smoke through that time. So really narrow down the topic and the research question. You want to be as specific as possible here. Um, yeah, so that's it. That is that. I just want to put this video out there so you have something um, that you can uh, look to um, for your 10, 29, 1 to 3 paragraph uh, short pitch.